There's been another mass shooting, this time disgustingly at an elementary school, and like clockwork, it is time for violent video games to become the punching bag of the uneducated and legacy media. Now, before I go any further in this video, first of all, let me start out by saying absolutely disgusting event that happened, and my condolences to the families of the children that were lost in this disgusting, disgusting event. So anytime firearms are used to damage defenseless civilians or helpless victims rather than incapacitate the threat of a home invader or eliminate enemy combatants on a battlefield, it is low-hanging fruit for legacy media as well as uneducated individuals on social media to make violent video games the metaphorical punching bag. So while the shooting at Rob Elementary was a disgusting event that anyone with half an ounce of compassion in their bones is absolutely enraged about, and you may want to direct your anger somewhere, violent video games is not the place for you to direct that anger. Now, blaming graphic or adult digital entertainment such as video games for real-world violent events is nothing new. Back in 2012, prior to his presidency, Joe Biden met with video game executives after the Sandy Hook massacre in 2012. And during his presidency, Donald Trump screamed for regulation on violent video games. Here is the thing. We already have a regulation system in place for video games. Allow me to share my screen for a moment. Putting myself in this little circle in the corner over here, the ESRB, or Entertainment Software Rating Board. I'm sure you've heard of them because there's a little placard or badge on the cover of every video game box. If you buy a digital only copy where there is no physical box, it's plastered all over the landing page for that game. Now what the ESRB is, is a ratings board that shows you what age group is appropriate for a game to be played at. So when you go to buy a game at GameStop or Walmart, if you look young, you've got a little bit of peach fuzz growing in here and your voice is a little bit crackly, they are going to ask you for ID when you go to purchase Grand Theft Auto. Now if you want to have a parent or guardian purchase that game for you, it's the same thing as your parent or guardian escorting you to see a rated R movie that is up to your parent or guardian's discretion. But there is already this rating system in place here, which if you click on learn more about ratings over here, so it breaks down. If you hover over each one, it gives you a description. There's E for everyone, T for teen. Sure enough, 13 years and up, may contain violence, suggested themes, and crude humor. Then you've got mature only. Then you have the very, very few games that are AO, which generally have nudity or some kind of pornographic material. Then you have RP or rating pending, which games hardly ever get released as. They generally have to give them one of these ratings here. Now I have a couple articles that I I put some pretty highlights on. These will be sourced or cited down there in the description below. Anytime I cover any news in the gaming community or industry, a new shooting in the United States has put the spotlight back on gaming. Well, yeah, naturally, it's like clockwork. Now look at this image over here. This guy's got slides, jeans, and a black hoodie on in his house. The way they cinematically cast a shadow over his face, like he's lurking in the shadows. That's some captivating imagery. He's got his Xbox 360 over here on the floor, you know, two console generations ago. He's got his grandma's entertainment center over here and a first generation LCD screen, and he's got a a wired light gun, most likely a Namco, pointed at the screen playing a bang bang shooty game over here. As is the case every time a section of the population and the media have blamed video games for turning the peaceful population into mass murders. As might be expected, outrage has spread through the gaming community tired of being blamed for the crimes of others. Studies have already attested to the fact that video games do not elicit any kind of violent behavior from users, but it seems that the hobby's detractors are still blind to reality. So I have cited and showcased these studies in the past. It's studies plural, with an S, multiple legitimate studies, case studies, if you will, showcasing that video games have less impact on the youth of America than other forms of media entertainment, such as violent movies and television. But just like any other aspect of life, people will deny science and head straight towards emotion. And then you have people like this gentleman over here who used to work on World of Warcraft, saying, if you work on video games that use modern day firearms to shoot other humans, you need to take a real hard look in the mirror tonight. So throwing a little bit of guilt or blame on game developers, who might work on something like Call of Duty, which is just a game franchise that I grabbed out of thin air because, well, that is the most popular by far first-person shooter franchise. However, the situations depicted in Call of Duty and Battlefield and other games of the such is military conflicts on a battlefield killing insurgents. Now, Jake Lucky, who used to be the host of Esports Talk, which is another gaming news outlet on YouTube, says, in case anyone needs to see, here is the video game revenue per person in 2019. So a little bit of old data here, but still valid. As you can see, Japan and South South Korea actually trumping the United States in video game revenue. However, violent gun deaths are substantially larger in the US, unfortunately. So that does indicate that there is no correlation between video game users or owners and violent gun deaths. The problem with trying to blame these shootings on video games is not only that it's clearly misguided, but that it misses the point of pointing to the real causes, such as culture, the lack of psychological attention to adolescence, the closeness between children and guns, the parental and media example, and so on. Now, during a press statement, Texas DPS 
chief stated that 18 year old Salvador Rolando Ramos, who was the shooter in this terrible tragedy, was into cyber gaming. First of all, I would like to know what the hell cyber gaming is. I've never heard of that term before. Is, is that some kind of a VR gaming? Is this uh, online multiplayer? Is this like the competitive esports scene? There's many types of gaming. I've never really heard of cyber gaming. We haven't gotten into the why, okay? McGraw said during a press conference, we know the individual was into cyber gaming and in that regard, group gaming as well. Also, it's not surprising from a numbers standpoint that this person played video games considering according to a 2020 study, more than 200 million Americans play video games in the US alone, meaning that roughly 65% of Americans adults are gamers. So I'm sure this person had other hobbies as well, but they're not going to pick out that he was a gearhead and liked to work on cars or that he liked to paintball. Video games is going to be the hobby or interest of the shit bag that people are going to grasp onto. And then I also highlighted this paragraph over here. This article is from GameRant.com. Studies have been conducted on video game violence over the years with no evidence that directly links playing violent video games to committing real life violent crimes. Video games are protected by the First Amendment, but they are often used as a scapegoat whenever something like this happens. Politicians on both sides of the aisle have placed blame on violent video games in the wake of incidents like this. It has absolutely nothing to do with what political side of the house you're on, blue or red, left or right. It comes down to wanting to blame something or somebody and video games, violent video games being the low hanging fruit to grasp onto during some kind of a press conference or public statement. Even though science has disproven the statement that violent video games cause real life violent behavior. So while the shooting at Rob Elementary was a disgusting event that anyone with half an ounce of compassion in their bones is absolutely enraged about, and you may want to direct your anger somewhere. Violent video games is not the place for you to direct that anger. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more gamers. This information will reach in a system as well, which in turn helps me grow this little channel, which I do greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover news in the gaming community and industry, tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing, as well as honest gaming product reviews, keyboards, mice, headsets, controllers, mics, chairs, etc. There are some hefty exclusive discount codes found only in the description of my videos and only for the audience here at Gamer Heaven. Check out Into the AM for some of the sickest looking and most comfortable cloth to ever grace my gaming giblets. If you don't want to be scorching your corneas with harmful blue light, check out Gamer Advantage, the only blue light glasses on the market that look sexy and actually work. If you're looking for a custom controller that'll blow the competition's tits back, AIM definitively has the best bang for buck or price to performance when it comes to Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch controllers. Nope, they don't do Switch, but they do do gaming mice. I said doo-doo. I have links to all my other platforms and socials in the description below. If you need a quick laugh or blast of gamer adrenaline, check my short form videos out at TikTok. To get in touch with myself and the stallions and stallionettes of Gamer Heaven, join the community Discord and check me out at twitch.tv where I go live every other leap year on a blue moon if it falls into an odd calendar number and my pH balance is on point. Just kidding, starting June, I'm gonna be live streaming a lot. Thanks for watching. This has been AK40 Kevin hosting Gamer Heaven and I'll see you tomorrow because I upload daily, all the time, 60% of the time, sometimes, most of the time. Peace.